Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and moving straight on to the action. Entering the battle arena cage first into the red corner. Make some noise for Yadigo Saide. This is not a battle bag with subliminal messages. Damn it, I'm the devil's man at the criminal fences. Where's the motherfuckers with guns, women with presses? Sitting in my pendulum, swinging, bringing venom, effortless. When you're a snake, like I am a snake, the giant is great. I ain't scared, it's why I'm a trait from my eye in a shake. My hand is steady, look at my gun, damn, it's heavy. We're ready to play, play, I'm into your fam already. My flip, play, versus a tank brain. And stand like burn church, skin brain, you can play. Titties are falling out, I'm shitty and worn out. Only the grim reaper in my city's a haunted house. So when you hear the door knock, now you see the wall lock. See it come before the triggers pulled in your shot. Before you let the full and full of liquor and more shots. You don't hear what I'm saying, no, you don't. Of course not. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Big fellas are coming in. And his opponent entering the cage into the blue. This is old corner. school now. And make some noise for Alandro Manicaro. He's come all the way from Malta as Alandro. Oh, Checkmate check MMA based in Malta. Oh. Jembry, yeah. Head coach Charlo Spiteri, who's a Japanese Jiu Jitsu black belt, but also a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under Naz Alga, training by a partner of ours. Yes, yeah. And uh, yeah, super ready. We know that the Checkmate crew become a little bit of a you know, anomaly over there in Malta. You don't think of MMA and think of Malta, but uh, putting out a lot of high level fighters. It is a lovely island. A very famous warring history as well. Yeah. And you know, I'm looking at, I'm looking at side of, and I'm just not seeing a heavyweight's body really. He's Maybe a bit light short heavyweight. Steve, to be honest. I gotta wonder. I gotta wonder what he actually weighed in at. But it'll be interesting. Maybe he just came to scrap, man. And that's what those sample guys can do. And, uh, yeah, not afraid. There's definitely. I think it's gonna be a fairly big size difference. Definitely. I mean, Alejandro is every bit a heavyweight. Not a giant, not a, a particularly tall heavyweight. What's the discussion? The discussion is about shorts. There is nothing that Paul Nichol loves more than whinging about shorts. Are there zippers on the shorts? There's pockets, Steve. Ah, oh, there's pockets. Pockets. Unbelievable. Tell me he's got some tight, tidy whiteies on under that. He doesn't have what pants is he in, Steve? We've got a fight in the pants. Question. Even Leon Roberts is going to start wondering why Paul Nichols is so obsessed with men's shorts. It's a bit of a pet pee for him, isn't it? He's not going to let him fight with his pockets. No. Nope. got to have standards in this world, Chris. Will he let the fight go ahead? He's having a deep conversation with uh, Leon Roberts. I'm looking at body language. Leon's giving the ah, let it happen. <laughs> I think Paul just grabs it and tears it. Yeah, that's no problem in the end. Could he find his pants? What underwear is he wearing? Let's just find your pants. Yeah. Come on, Alejandro. Take him off, Alejandro. Alejandro. The molten standout. Molten? Is that the right word? All right, I think this is gonna go. Never is a man obsessed so much about pockets. Here's an issue, I can't understand why in the rules meeting earlier on. Maybe we need to start training runners. The, so runners are the, the guys that tell, you know, go get the fighter from the blue corner, red corner. Just have a little word. Just keep their eyes out and just spot pockets. Pocket spotting. Well, I do quite enjoy the drama of it, Steve. Andrews flown all the way from Malta. Will he have to go home empty-handed? Because he can't fight because he got the wrong shorts on. 
He could borrow Tarsten's trousers. Look at those. It's yeah, beautiful. those might. <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting. What's he got underneath? Does he got like tight shorts? Tell him to take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Take it off. Take it off. In your pants. Old school PE at school. If you didn't have the right clothes, you had to fight in your pants. Or oh, pee yeah. in your pants. Oh. I've never seen people have such deep conversations about fighting in your pants. He's got to fight in his pants, surely. Come on, Steve. Come on. He's got nothing. Can we get this crowd to go in your pants? In your pants. <laughs> Not be possible. Are we letting the fight happen? Paul Nichols never compromised. Well, they're asking the corner if they're happy with it. That's all. I think they're going to be happy with it. Now there's going to be a translation issue. This could go on for some time, Steve. No, no, you just got to do what I did when I went up there and talked to them. Fight? Yes? Yes, fight? All right, let's fight. Steve's got all the inside information for you right there. <laughs> I am uh, a regular battle fish of Google Translation, folks. I love heavyweight fights. I reckon this will be a 20 minute slow build up, trying to figure out logistics. And then it's going to be calling it off. Oh, no. <laughs> Steve's gonna go try and resolve the situation. He's gonna fire in his pants! <laughs> Have they found some shorts? Oh, he's just got to put the box on the inside he's of He's going to put the box on the inside. Oh, I've, Steve! I've, 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 I've solved Steve! the solution, okay? You saved the day! Listen, listen. Next time, folks, if Break you want me to negotiate, it's me right here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Incredible. Our very own commentator, Mr. Steve Brinkman. There you go. Solution for everybody. The solution. Goes and tells him to put his pants just over take his him cup. Off. You were calling for it already, Chris. I just stole your idea. Excellent work just by Mr. Right Brinkman. Right <laughs> Carsten <laughs> is thoroughly enjoying this. He's a man that likes to look at men in his pants. That's what he. This is what he's here for, to be honest. Mr. Carsten LeJoint. He is so excited about this. He's going to fight in his blue, beautiful shorts. Oh, I can't wait for this. He's I coming back, Steve. Yes, he it's is. It's happening. This guy's the man. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Okay. All right. Make sure check him again. <laughs> this is the greatest moment in MMA history. This, should be, this better be viral, folks. Like... Like, where is Kev? Kev, just make this viral, buddy. Like, you know, Emily Fetter fights his pants. Steve. It's like pee at school. Oh, come on, Paul. No more problems. Oh, just no. The no winch. No, Paul. Let it happen. Come on. Hey, do it naked. Steve, good time. <laughs> you want me to, I could go and... I, I'm sure I could broker a deal here. <laughs> Paul's just so disappointed. Naked. 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 It's going to be different Oh, let him fight! Let him fight! Come on! Yes, well, that's a good tune. Is he coming in? Honestly, this would be like the time to put on dirty. So take off all your clothes. I want this to be a two second fight. It would be so good. If it's a 20 minute build up and then dunk over. Where did that guy go? Where is he? He stood to the side there, Steve, just out of our view. They're checking his pants. <sighs> He's do it, crouched down, look. Into it. He's on the floor doing do something. It, back into it. Put your, put your. We're asked Carsten. Carsten, what's happening? Oh, 
He's cut. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, Paul! Yes! 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 Are you not entertained, Gloucester? Thank you, folks. Thank you. Probably one of the best moments. Please get a picture of that, Chris. Please get a picture of that. It's going to be very important. I'm on it, buddy. This is great. This is great. You guys send that my way. This is awesome. Representing East FC. Make some noise for This would be perfect it's now. One second fight. Here we go. As upon the fighter in the blue corner, weighing 119.6 kilograms. Little fella. Representing Chipmate MMA. Make some noise for Alandro Manicaro. Here we go. Side of in the black shorts. Oh, Alandro in the blue. All right, just to get back to things, it was confirmed there. We've got 100 kilos for Alejandro. This is 130 kilos for Alejandro, and then with Sidov weighing just shy of 100. Here we go. The speed of Sidov is going to be an issue. Alejandro is going to have power. I think we're going to see a takedown early on, Steve. It's my prediction. So just as long as we don't see a full move, that's all that matters. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice kick. Yep. Yeah. Good range on that kick from side off. Yeah. Spinning back kick to the body. Oh, his yeah, hands are down. Him. I think that hurt him a little bit, Steve. And again. He's going to the body. Looking to drop the hands of Alejandro so he can go into the head. Alejandro's now on him. He's pushing in. Dangerous to do this against the Sambo artist. Yeah. See a lot of strength there from side off. I mean, there's a 20 kilogram plus difference between these two fighters, but side off having none of it. Side of going for an inside trip there. Yeah. Like to see Shemri stand in front. Can Alejandro step in front and get the throw himself? Good hand fighting here. Yeah, the wrestling's really been the difference here. Yeah. Side of side of, but Alejandro doing really well, digging, digging those under underhooks. The Maltese fighter. Slidov just doing a good job controlling position. Just good body position. Even though he's giving up 20 kilograms plus difference in weight, it's able to be the one controlling the fight. And Andrew in those beautiful shorts. Yeah, you can get some yourself. Um, <laughs> at checkmatemma.co.uk. When this is on YouTube, it will be heavily edited entrance, but uh, there was an issue with the shorts of... Alejandro and they are originally his pants. He's yeah. lost his shorts, but decided to elect to fight in his pants. Some fighters are very durable. Some are just, you know, very adaptable. And I think Alejandro has shown that he's very adaptable. adaptable even before Good word, started. Steve. Very adaptable. adaptable. Found a way Got through. Got a big welt on the leg of Alejandro there. Yeah, a big kick in the early in the fight. Lovely Ooh. trip. It's going to be so hard to get the man mountain down. You've got to wonder how much this is tiring out. Sharov. He runs a knee up into the middle again. It's yes. going to the body, which has been very successful for him earlier on. Side off controlling well. Not yeah. getting a Are we gonna get a second round of man in his underwear fights man in shorts? It's very good. <laughs> Sambo man Sambo man has to fight man in underwear. Oh good. Excellent Head wrap. description Heavy. of this fight. Man oh. comes from Tajikistan. Only to fight. Maltese fighter in underwear. They're actual enemies, I think, Tajikistan and Malta. Also the gum shield. A few last few seconds of the round. Oh, nice D. Nice Whoa. Good first round. Alejandro. Ali Alejandro. Ali Alejandro do very well in the blue shorts. We're all the way from Malta, from uh, Team Checkmate. Under uh, Charlo Spiteri, and then the uh, side of Sambo crew from Tajikistan, the Tajikistani Sambo hooligans, as we're calling them now. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to mix it up a little bit. I mean, 
Alejandro definitely looking the more tired of the two from my eye here, Steve, but... Well, he has been having to move that man mounted around as you did say, Chris. It is a tough, tough ask. But... Have you been to Malta? I haven't been to Malta. Have you? I, I can't remember. I don't think so. I, I haven't been yet. It's really, really cool, though. There's some great festivals and stuff there. Uh, I'd love to go. I struggled to find out the map, to be honest. It's in the Mediterranean. There it is. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Steve, a lot better travel than I am. He's a world man of the world. Yeah. I've lived in Canada and the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Coming out. They touch gloves. Alejandro looking like a rock'em sock'em robot. Alejandro's lo looking to load up on the right, I think, Steve. A little, nice little footwork there. Ooh, there He's woken up, Steve. Yep. I think the, the drama with the shorts had him confused at the start of round one. He looks a bit more comfortable with his feet now. I think side has got to throw some kicks. He's starting to pick his shots a bit, is Alejandro. He doesn't let his right hand go, but you can see him winding up. Side of. He's good looking for another spinning kick, I think, Steve. Mm -hmm. He knows that hurt. Yeah. Alejandro in the first one. He's baiting that spinning kick. Oh, shot. Baiting the shot. Interesting. Uh -huh. Side off trying to pick that ankle. Stepping in. What does uh, Alejandro need to do to get out of this position, Steve? Oh, Ale Just exactly that. that. <laughs> Neither of them are owning the head position right now, so it'd be good to see somebody have their head under the under the chin. Oh. You see Alejandro does it. Yeah, he needs a it. knee for his trouble. But that's his Ooh. point. Oh, he throws a knee of himself. Good work right now from Alejandro. We're seeing seeing the Maltese fighter really come into his own. Yeah. Possibly wear down the Tajikistani. He's really woken up the second round, Steve. I, such a sl really slow start round one, but this is much more like it from Alejandro. The shorts are motivating him. Nice knees. Don't wear shorts with pockets, people. Oh, if he you picks do up the leg. Sports. So he put his, ha put his hands together, maybe. Yeah, trying to get a takedown. It's going to be hard against the Sombo specialist side of. Yeah, I think he should just abandon it and stand straight up. Try to push his head through on the guillotine attempt. But waste a lot of energy here. Yeah, not a huge amount happening. Cancelling each other out. And you don't want to be the, the heavy man with a heavy man on top of you. Oh, side off. Oh, good. Jumped there to guillotine, basically, I think. Gave yeah. up the position. Fortunately, but now. We're on top. One minute left. It's got a graphic angle, Steve. Yeah, it's very good. I like it. <laughs> Getting a lot of show here, the people at Gloucester. <laughs> and you people at home. Thank oh, you for Oh, think of a triangle, Steve. Can he lock up a triangle? Is this going to be one of the first heavyweight triangles we've ever seen Ooh, here at Ballerina? No. no. He's out as Alejandro. Now he's got to look to try to do some damage with 40 seconds remaining in the second round. I mean, slightly uneventful round this, Steve, to be honest. And not nearly as much hurting as there was before, but I think this round will have to go to Alejandro. Well. Production team really get into this fight. Yeah, there's going to be some close ups here, I'm sure. <laughs> get the angle in there. <laughs> Throwing up another triangle. Alejandro punched himself into it. Yeah, short time. <laughs> possibly around a piece, Steve. Going yeah, into I'd probably say third. around a piece and, you know, <laughs> side up sitting down in the corner. <laughs> We need we need some intense zooming in, please, Kevin. <laughs> and this guy's just sat down now. He's just kind of given up. I did that for you. This I done that for you. Yeah, there's, there's some angles you need to be a little bit careful with when you're operating the zoom on the camera. Your crew, the production crew here at Battle Arena, are tastefully filming this. That would be the words I just used. <laughs> this is. Yeah. Tastefully filming it. Yep. Where is? <laughs> oh, we've got to see. There's got to be a warning coming out. Here we go. Well, look, time's up. Both fighters are not leaving the cage, really. One guy sat down. Other one's in his pants, like he's been told off a of PE. <laughs> Producer Kevin Orch is loving this fight. There's time. Here we go. Uh, there's water. Oh, no. You can't leave a pool of water. He's Tajiki Stanley, Paul. Have a little, you know. That's what they do. They pour water on the floor. 
Very clever buying you some extra time. Bit of game. He did look the way more fatigued of the two fighter, and it, it it's a strategy we actually see quite a lot here on Ballerina Steve. There's the accidental pouring of water when your guy's the more tired one. I mean, judging the two fighters coming in, you would have said that Alejandro maybe would have got gassed earlier, but Side I've seen uh, way more fatigue. Side has been pushing the pace the whole time. That's the whole That's thing, true. right? That's true. It's very true. Alejandro being bigger. <laughs> just come forward, just crack him. A nice little kick. If you got a Superman punch right now, Alejandro, I think that would land. I like Bring the up fact that because he drops. Fighting in the pants was my idea, but your execution. Went ran around, told him to do it. You see, that's why we're a great partnership. Well, yeah. That's why you know. <laughs> that's what you get with us combat commentators here. <laughs> Steve and Chris, not only combat commentators, but we're solution finders. Good this, check there from Alejandro. This one particular fight is... Oh! oh! He hits him really hard! There's that left hook, and he steams in. He doesn't want to leave it to the judges, does he? And now it's going to be... Is he going to step in front and get the takedown? Steps... Oh, no! Bro. No! Side it's the Chichiki Stanny! Here comes the Sombo! Alejandro's having none of it, Just Steve. stands up! Just powers like out of the it. the Black Beast, like Derek Lewis. Just stands up. I think Alejandro needs to break away and start cracking him. Again, <laughs> this this favors the Sambo artist way too much. Yeah, he's so tired, Sadiv. Side of, if he can make space. But I think Alejandro may have punched himself out a little bit as well. It's a lot to ask, that's for sure. And now he's on the leg. Side of might accept it. Nice he down. And we got a minute and a half for him to make it. Well, to make a stamp stamp on this fight, to not leave it to the judges. Judges have had their work cut out for them tonight so far. Honestly, if the fight does if, if the fight goes, does go to decision and Alejandro wins, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be controversial, isn't it, Chris? Because did Alejandro win because of better technique or because of sex appeal? Right? Sex appeal, like, I'd say. That's like, I think sex, <laughs> I think I think sex appeal has won this fight. Uh, if, even if Alejandro you know stands up right now, gets chinned, it's like I can't even look. I can't even look. Like it's just I'm, I'm being blinded here by the beauty of Alejandro. The beauty of Alejandro. Alejandro Shembri Manicaro. Know the name, folks. Fought yep. in his pants in Gloucester <laughs> and looks to get the finish here. He doesn't oh. want to leave it up. He doesn't want just his sex appeal to win it. He's doing well. Trying to land some big shots. Going to the body here. Is he locking up? Oh! Will he get the submission right at the end? 30 seconds to remain. I'd like to see him maybe go back to punches and bunches. Straight arm bar here. Can he bring that knee out? He's almost almost up on top. Oh, Once can again, he trying to lock really up. Really hard like to finish Kimura. this. But it's going to be enough to probably win in the round. Really good submission and attempts that's, here. There's a good chance it wins in the fight. I've got this two rounds to one with 10 seconds to go. He's trying to bring it behind go. his back. Oh, he's almost there. Oh, nice. Five seconds remaining. Goes back for the Kimura and mount. Not my idea, but... Nice. Very good. Good performance by Andrew. Sambo, Sambo versus Sex Appeal. All right. Sambo. Sex Appeal 1. Yep. Versus scantily clad men. Fighting out for you. Battle Arena Gloucester. Wow. Gloucester. 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 Great shorts, great shorts. Adapts and thrives in the cage. Does Alejandro Shembri Manacaro of Checkmate MMA. I'm giving him my nod of the day and I'm giving him my fighter of the night. Now Steve, that's nine and, it's still nine and one to the blue corner this evening. It's very interesting. I don't know if the tables can be turned. We've got another, um, another, Tajiki Stani coming out in a few moments in the featherweight division, so maybe they can turn the tables. No. Oh no, sorry, one more after this one. Yep. Daniel Tiger Verzen coming up, representing Holden Combat Company from Norway. And we've seen them be Taking successful. Taking on uh, Brad Easton. Quite experienced Brad Easton, I think. From Bermuda MMA, yeah, very experienced. Can't wait for that one. But first we gotta go to the judge's decision. So after three rounds of action, we'll go to your judges scorecard for a decision. And all three judges have it going the way of the fighter in the blue corner. And Manny Kyle. And please, most 
Internacional Viadkar Siedam. 